Alright. We are going to finish this game because I'm frankly sick of it. Because <laughs> there's not much to it for one player. It's more fun two player or more. And I'm betting you guys are sick of it too, so... Hmm. Give me just a sec. Okay, back at it. Vampire Hunter. There are no quests. Basically, just get the Crown of Command. The last space on the board, which is pretty easy when you're doing this one player. Alright. Some rules about her. After you encounter a space with intersections to draw one or more adventure cards, you have... Uh, and have drawn the required number of cards you may investigate. To do so, discard one card on your space that is not an enemy and draw one more card to replace it, which you must encounter. Makes sense. It's basically the Prophetess Light. Whenever you engage an enemy in battle or psychic combat, add one to your attack roll, which is awesome, so she's always stronger than she actually looks. However, that won't help us to get the Crown of Command. Whenever you visit the graveyard, you may draw one adventure card instead of resolving the instructions on the space. This is good because she is a good person. Mostly. I'm probably going to end up turning her evil. And I have already done this quest, but it doesn't matter because once you get to the magic quest, really nothing changes. Let's do this. Alright, travel to the Crown of Command. Center space on the board. We have three strength and three craft. One of these two needs to be equal to ten. Let's see. Let's go to the graveyard, because fuck it, why not? Alright. Fountain of Wisdom. There is no reason we would ever want to change this. This will increase our craft every time we land there. This is actually a nice card to get at the beginning of the game. So, that gives us an extra craft. We may want to come back here later. Let's go ahead and go to the woods. Bandit, strength four. I cannot deal with him. Hmm. Well, no, we're on evil, even ground because I get a plus one just for being... Huh? Pay off bandit. I don't know I'm not going to pay off the bandit. You and me, bandit. Battle in Mortal Kombat! That was easy enough. Alright, what else is going on here? Three. I can go back to the, uh, the... Actually, what do I get if I go here? If you travel here and you are good, we can gain a life or a spell. Cool. Let's do that. Pray. Ooh, I gain a spell. What spell do I get? I've never seen this one. Temporal Warp. Cast at the start of your turn before your move. This spell freezes time for three turns. Huh. Well, all right. Not that it matters much. Let's just get this spell out of the way now. And here we go. Under the fields. Another bandit. Wow. No, I'm not going to pay you money. Beat that. Oh, he actually, he actually made it. Uh, you know what? No. We'll call this a standoff for now, Bandit, but I will return. More powerful than you could ever imagine. Hmm. Ooh. Back over here, we're going to grab a craft spell or skill, what have you. I don't think I'm quite up to going up against the Sentinel just yet. I'm not worried about it. There are many ways that we can do this. Uh, armor, yes. Grab that armor. I'm cool with that. Moving on. We'll head over to the woods again. Maybe get some cider. Lion, strength three. Is that all you got? Bye bye, lion. <laughs> Even the king of the jungle is no match for my vampire hunting skills. In any case, that's enough trophies to add to my strength. There we go. Oh no. Okay, this happens sometimes. When I exit a battle too quickly, the battle music never goes away. And what's worse is usually the regular music in the background doesn't go away either, so it's a dissonance of noise and stuff. What's in here? Planes. Sure, we'll go to the planes. Magical Vortex! 
Oh no, all of my spells. You know what, no. What else? Holy Grail. Heck yeah, no evil character may carry the Holy Grail. Add one to your craft. You do not lose a life in the desert. Hmm, if I ever travel to the desert, that might be useful. Hope you guys like this music, because it's all you're going to hear for the rest of the game. Orb of Knowledge. Oh my god. Whenever you draw an adventure card, you may discard one of your cards of your choice. Uh, basically, it's the same thing as... Yeah, keep it. It's the same thing that the uh, Vampire Huntress can do anyway. To the graveyard! Oh god. Oh god. Can, can I fix that? What? Why is that not fixed? Why is lowering the volume of the music not fixing the problem? Can I drown out? No, that sounds horrible. Yay, yay. I I love you, game. You're you're the best. Alright, well at least we can turn down the background music. Alright, um I'm not evil and I frankly I frankly don't want to do anything else, so we're just gonna hunt wolves. Alright. I'm waiting to see if the music is overlapping itself, which would be hilarious if it did. But it didn't. And I got another trophy. I like to just carry them around. Ooh, extra craft. Alright, cool. That's going to make it much faster for us to, uh, to hit the Crown of Command. Which is pretty nice. Let's see. Mmm, there's nothing over there I really want come over here. Magical stream. Ah! It's the same thing as the uh, the other uh, fountain that we have. <laughs> Only this one gives us uh, extra strength, which I am cool with. And again, this makes life a little bit easier, brings us up to a strength of five, and we already have a craft of basically seven. A little bit more, and we can get past... Uh... Mm. Yeah! What about that Bandit. You, sir, have at you. No, I'm not gonna pay you money. I'm saying, Bandit. Oh, uh. Things could have gone better. I have burned a life and fate. Uh, if you are defending. You know what? I've never done this. Stand off by armor. Spelled Amor. So I just burned a fate doing that. That's good, I guess. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, I believe there's one craft left after this. Nope, that's it. They're, they're all gone now. Now I'm super crafty. And now I've got extra strength. I'm like Tylenol now. Okay, I am nearly ready to head over to, uh, to the inner region now, but I don't think I'm up to going against the Sentinel just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang around the tavern and see if I can't find... Ah, oh, shit. Um... This is the game. One of six things can happen. You know what? No, I don't want to risk it. Because I don't want to be a toad and lose my, uh, my objects. So we're going to say no and see what else. Dragon? Oh, this is much better. <laughs> What's funny is we're on equal footing. I have a strength of... Seven, and he has a strength of seven. This is... Ah! No! What? No! No! Yes! Woo! And the great thing about killing a dragon is uh, after you kill one, it just gets easier. Let's add to our strength there. We now have a strength of seven and a craft of eight. I am rocking this game, man! Let's see what's over here. Mm, no, I'm not going to risk it. What's over here? I can visit the Enchantress, I could talk to a doctor, or I could get an Alchemist. You know, we'll do the Alchemist. Hello, Alchemist. I wish to turn this Orb of Knowledge into gold. Because I'm frankly not using it, and I just have a natural affinity to do that kind of stuff anyway. Alright, let's see if we can't get closer to the tavern. Raiders! 
A band of raiders attack you and steals your gold! Shit! They immediately slash the gold, stash the gold into the oasis and retreat to their hideout. Mm, no, they don't. Ooh, an enchanter. Hello. Um, gosh. So many things that I could do here. So many things. Um, gold is, yeah, useful. I could gain a fate. I don't really need to. I could gain a spell. Hmm. You know, on second thought, I do need to gain a fate. We're gonna use her, him, him, her, that enchanter to replenish one of our fates. All right, to the ruins. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's see what do we got here. A blizzard. For two turns, you may only move one space per. I might let that go. And a unicorn, which we're actually going to keep the unicorn. Hmm. One, two. You know what? That's not going to get us to the strength. The strength fountain, which honestly is the only reason I would want to. So we're going to choose this and switch it out for a wild boar. Okay, we're, we're in battle mode now. Let's just kill everything. There's nothing this boar can really roll. That's, that's even... That's embarrassing. That's just embarrassing. And the unicorn. One, two... Yeah, I wouldn't have made it to the... To the strength guy. And I'm still not... Ah! Tavern! Cool. Alright, I have a one in six chance of being ferried over to the temple. <laughs> yes! <gasps> oh, good times. Huh? Huh? What? What are you doing? Take me over to the temple. Oh, there we go. Good. Remember, don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. Alright, that's a seven. Gain one craft. I don't mind if I do. Wait, no, I guess it's gain one spell. Divination. Cast before your move. Alright. Why not do that now? Alright. Oh! Oh yes, yes, yes. This this card right here is what we need in order to uh, get to the crown of command. I was hoping it would come soon. This is going to be one fast game. So let's see here. Uh, we'll gain a go uh, gain uh, gold. Uh, this will make us miss a turn. Oh no, whatever. The talisman, which we absolutely need, followed by a goblin and a guide, which I don't really care, nor does it affect me. So now, what we need to do is head someplace. Hmm. Do I still have the? Do I still have the thingy? You know, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna go to the uh, royal doctor. We're gonna try and hang around the waterfall because that is where we can burn our cards. Not quite what I was expecting, but this is all right. Draw a card. Um. Oh, okay. This just adds two to any monster's attacks. Doesn't matter to us. Um. Yeah, I'll keep the gold. Because there's no way for me to get the talisman just yet. Four. Let's see. I could lose a life and a gold, or I could just do nothing. Because. Oh no, I can draw an adventure card here. Cool. I'm cool with that. Storm. Nope. Talisman. Yes. All right. Now, seven, eight, nine. That's enough to get me through the mines, which requires. Hmm. We'll try it. No, not gonna do you. I will do the oasis. Yes. A goblin or a guide. And, you know what? Let's switch the guide out for a wraith. Sure! Why not? Okay, goblin first. There's nothing he can roll. So I have defeated the goblin in Mortal Kombat. And now I go up against the wraith. And frankly, he's just as screwed. That's a 12. Can you roll better than a 12? No, you can't. That's a mere 10. Checkmate, wraith. Speaking of Wraith, uh, can I... No, I can't. 
Let's see, two, four, five, seven. I don't really have enough trophies to do anything. That's a four. I can go over here. Well, I will draw a card, or I can go over to... There is no reason to ever go to the chasm. Look at this. Roll one die for yourself and one for each of your followers. It's basically, hey, you could lose a life in all of your followers. Good for you. Let's go to the ruins. A gnome? You need only run roll one die when opening the portal of power. And two dice. Oh, this guy, yes. That's it. Let's head to the portal of power. Planes of peril. Planes of portal of power. Portal of peril. Okay, we are going to use craft to access the portal of power. And what do you know? It worked. And now we are going to head to the mines. There we go. Now, in all honesty, this should just get us in. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Minus uh, seven, eight, nine, which is zero, which is the mines. So we're good with this roll. All right, now here's the trouble. Uh, Vampire Tower. Basically, you roll a die when you come through here to figure out how many lives or followers you lose. Six. Uh, that's going to kill me straight up. Let me re-roll re that. Six. Okay. Can't do that, so... I have got to... That's it. Holy shit. Holy shit, this has never happened before. I'm... I'm dead. That's it. Six, four lives, plus two followers. How am I still alive? Okay. Roll one die to determine how many fights with pit fiends, each with strength four, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's nothing. You fight them until they're all defeated. Not sure, how did I... Did I not read that vampire tower correctly? I don't know. Um... I fight four of these guys, and I have no fate points to go up against them. But it's not like it matters. I honestly can't see these guys doing much damage to me. See? That's one. That's two. Okay, this guy could actually kill me. And he actually does a point of damage, and there's nothing I can do about that. Ah, but I have an armor, and which, does, which doesn't help. Okay. Next. That's a one. He could still get me. That's a three. Just barely loses. And I have one more. Five. Okay, chances are good. He's going to go down. And we're good. And that's it. With this, I have the talisman already. I go to the crown of command, and I win. Thank goodness that was a short game. <laughs> that's it. And please note that the game is over and the battle music is still rolling. I found a little glitch in your program. Also note that we're now on the title page, and the battle music is still going. <laughs> so that was Talisman. That was Talisman Prologue. Hope you enjoyed it. As you can clearly see, even, even kind of racing the clock, the magical quest isn't fun. Like, the, the other quests, at least, like, okay, Royal Delivery. You know, you have a set of rules that you have to fit. These, of course, these, these quests were designed for one player, and the full magical quest was clearly designed for more than one player, so, eh, what can you do? Uh, this is more of a demo, when you think about it, than an actual game. That's it. I will see you guys next time on whatever it is I'll be doing.